Hello, I'm Thomas Yi, founder of Bayfine Strings. Now I'm going to install the beans onto this violin. So I'm just going to take these out and start with the A string first. Um, so what I'm going to do is show how I poke the uh, bean through. Basically, you have to puncture the center of it, like so. Kind of twist and push. And it's poked through. Then I'm going to take off this particular string. Pull it through. What you do is uh, you attach the string through the little pinhole here. Um, and you basically thread this through like so. You just pull it through and then it goes right through like that. Then you remove this here, curl, kind of crimp, make a little fish hook or uh, an V-shaped angle so that you can fit the string bean underneath the uh, tail piece, kind of fish it out and then pull like that. Make sure that you don't uh, crimp the string as you pull through underneath and then just uh, try to line up the, the string so it's like so. And then you just tune it up. Then you just uh, repeat. Then we'll proceed with the D string. Just grab another bean. Just try to get it right directly centered and puncture it through. Kind of work it in. Make sure you don't poke yourself. And then there you go. It's very doughy. And then you just um, hook the string through like so, like this, and then you pull through once again, like that, and then make sure that it's in like so, pull this out, crimp the string again, make the little fish hook v-shape so you can thread the string underneath the violin, like this. And make sure you don't take the string once again. And then string it up. Okay. Now we're proceeding on to the G. Okay. Poke the bean again with the needle. Like so, halfway through. Put the string through, like so. And if it gets a little bit stuck, even just a little bit is enough to um, thread the string through the, the string bean, like this, if you watch. If you move kind of swiftly, you can see that it's not hanging out very much. If, especially on the G, it could be a little bit thick. So then make that little fish hook, which is also kind of good for uh, putting the string through the peg. Okay, so here's the third string bean. sure that the bridge is straight. I can already hear the power. And you can kind of keep this extra one for third option. Alternatively, you could try um, using the string bean for the E string 
uh, should you choose not to use a, a, an e-tuner um, where you can get a ball end and uh, use the, the peg.